So, Sudipti, can you please start with your introduction? Yes, ma'am. Uh, thank you, uh, thank you, ma'am, for giving me opportunity to introduce myself. I am Sudipto Roy. I came from Shiliguri. Uh, I have done my, uh, I have born and brought up uh, from Shiliguri and did my schooling from here. I have graduated from Yadavpur University in, uh, in civil engineering department in the year of 2023. I have done my summer training in program in the water supply sector of the KMDA, that is Kolkata Metropolitan Development Authority. I have done my summer training in program. Oh, sorry, I have done my BTEC uh, project on the topic of dynamic analysis of the elevated water tank or oh, with varying height of the water level. Uh, apart from uh, academics, uh, I, uh, apart from academics, I love to do the photography. Thank you, Ronald. Okay, done. So, so Deepthu, you have done your bachelor's in 2023, like you have completed it in 2023 with civil background, right? Okay. So now you are aiming to go in IOCL. Done. So how do you think that your educational background has helped you prepare for this role of IOCL? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, I am, a, uh, first of all, my technical skills in civil engineering uh, will help surely in the IOCL's uh, the many divisions, that is, uh, many divisions like refinery, pipeline, marketing division. Also, I am a team player, uh, so I can work in a team and uh, can help other members, uh, which is very important for uh, uh, for IOCLs in any divisions. And also, my problem uh, so problem uh, solving ability will help uh, help uh, uh, to come up with the innovative solutions of the uh, projects which are uh, facing the difficulties. Okay, done. So uh, my next question is Sudipto. Like uh, you have done a training, I think you have done summer training also. Okay, so your summer training was in a team or it was an individual training? Ma'am, it was a uh, individual ones. Okay, and talking about your project that you have done in VTech was individual or in team? Yes, yes, same individual. Okay, so you haven't worked with a project like team in project or somewhere like okay, Hannah? Uh, and you don't, yeah. Ma'am, actually, uh, in the, basically talking about teams, uh, ma'am, uh, in project and in summer uh, summer training, I haven't uh, doing teams, but uh, the assignments in detail times which are given uh, assigned to us, that is uh, like team of like four or five members. So I have a uh, like experience of that kind of assignment. That is what I'm saying. Now that on a professional level, you don't have experience of working with the team. Yes. Like here you have worked with your uh, like college mates and they are of the same age, right? You don't have a work experience. Now, if by God's grace you are selected into IOCL, there you will be working with a lot, like a great, uh, highly qualified and professional people, right? So how you think that you have never worked with a team? So how you will adjust yourself in that environment? Yes, ma'am. Well, first of all, I am a fresher. Firstly, uh, I will, when I will join IOCL, firstly, one year training will be uh, given to us. So according to that, I will be firstly skilled enough uh, to like what is going on, the projects are going on, I can understand. And when it comes to the team works, uh, so first, firstly, uh, I uh, try to adjust with the environment and also uh, I will uh, take my help of the seniors and also my uh, colleagues uh, which are already uh, going in the project. So how to develop a team ability, like how to collaborate with each other. So by that way, I can uh, assure you that I can work in uh, with highly professionals, uh, a team of IOC. Okay. So being from a civil background, okay. So uh, what technical as well as soft skills you have learned throughout your like college, your school, which has prepared you, polished you for working in IOCA? Uh, yes, ma'am. Soft skills, uh, ma'am. Uh, soft skills is my, uh, like, I am a like team leader also. That is, I can uh, lead a team. I was a CR uh, of my class. And also, uh, I was said earlier that I am a problem solver. So I can... Uh, uh, do like problem solving ability that uh, I can do for IOC. Uh, also, also yeah, that 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 facilities uh, that qualities will help in IOC. So yes. Okay. And what about your technical skills? Yes, ma'am. Uh, obviously, ma'am, the technical skills is a must because uh, uh, whatever we have learned in four years, uh, so that will help in the many divisions, and also the training will be given related to that. So, uh, so that will really, uh, really help. In the IOC, working in the IOC. Okay, so um, Sudipto, 
uh, in your 10th you scored 92% in your 12th you scored 91 and in your btech also you scored 81 so your academics was really very good so my next question to you is like you are more inclined towards having practical knowledge or theoretical knowledge or you're neutral with having both the knowledge is equal important so what is your comment on this line ma'am uh, actually uh, i guess uh, the, the results shown as you have said earlier it is uh, good uh, but uh, i want to uh, join and uh, like uh, practical because i have not practical experience so i want to join psus for practical experience because uh, theoretical is done but with theoretical practical experience is also very important uh, for uh, like uh, for uh, development of a country or because in practical experience i can and also with the help of joining in the psu i can directly contribute to the nations and also also give out also have a opportunity to directly join in the uh, uh, like uh, the big scale project large scale project so, uh, so i think man uh, uh like uh, my uh, uh like technical skills uh, means uh, like uh, theory practical skills and as well as theoretical skills it is very important so yeah. okay done so uh, so we to my last question to you is yeah you, you have mentioned a lot of area of interest right so like with time i think you developed all these area of interest and now you want to enter in psus like iocl only so how you keep yourself updated with these latest trends and latest trends in your area of interest so what methods you follow to get at like to get yourself updated for all these things is yes, uh, like uh, in civil engineering uh, latest trend if i talk about so first of all uh, uh, like technologically i have not uh, like i'm not a fan of reading newspaper truly but uh, sometimes what happens in google feedback of it there are a short thing in civil engineering this uh, regularly invent in the last week and so that i did really and also some youtube channels i have subscribed there uh, so they can also inform me uh, day by day or uh, week by week that what updates are going on so by this way i can uh, say that i uh, like updated myself uh, with the latest technology okay done so sudipto that's now it's the time for the feedback okay so you have a good confidence let me say that your confidence is very good okay you are very much aware about yourself but the only things that you have to work on is your first is your soft skill okay yes. you in your area of interest you have mentioned project management right yes so if you have a keen interest in project management that that means you have a great level of soft skills because during the time of your project if you are a project manager you have to be very much punctual you have to be very much attentive a good listener a good speaker you have to you have to have a very good interpersonal interpersonal skills you have to be a good team leader and everything so all these skills has to be in yourself not at a very like i'm not skills all these skills but some of the major skills you should have if you want to go for a project management right so when talking about your technical skills you have explained me a very like okay good answer but coming on our soft skills like i don't think that you have justified your soft skills yes uh, i uh, feel uh, the same thing yes okay so and the second thing is while giving the interview make sure you maintain a proper eye contact okay it's me when you'll be going for the actual interview and you'll be sitting in front of five, five or six panel members it is very important for you to have a proper eye contact with the panel members yes. okay you yes. have a good confidence you have a good face you don't have a nervousness on your face keep it going keep it going okay this confidence will definitely help you your introduction was okay okay make it more dominant stress on the areas you find will give you advantage okay so when you are talking about the technical and soft skills make sure you speak it with very much dominance so that it can be advantage for you okay and uh, next thing is yeah that's it from my side so my three points that i want you to get very much aware of is one is your eye contact second is your uh, like soft skills and third is give a like stress on the things that you feel will give you advantage some points your qualities your skills okay, okay. rest uh, you have to work a much like your technical skills are okay because you are from a civil background you know better what all technical skills you have but if talk, talking about your soft skills so i am here to improve just your soft skills because during the time of a final interview the priority will be given to soft skills 
that is your communication your personality your posture your gestures and your attitude okay so make sure all these five things are perfect at your end with your confidence speak it up you know everything about yourself make sure you do it very well okay ma'am uh, i have a question here uh, like uh, when basically these interviews are uh, like one to one uh, so when i enter uh, to the actual interview room and there will be like four to five members and one of them will ask me to introduce yourself yeah so when i uh, introduce myself or even i can say like if it is morning like good morning so when like when looking uh, uh, so i when uh, like for looking so can i look to the person who are asking me or can i look like rounding towards the panel members so. yeah so let me just clear you five to six panel yes. members will be sitting there yes. we don't have to look down we don't have to look here and there rest it totally depends upon you you can give 2 to 3 seconds seeing the person who is answering the like asking you the question then you can look here then you can look here meaning like with very much of confidence and a decency on your face you can see each and every panel member make sure you give time to the person who is asking you the question because you have to give him the respect because this eye contact is just for the respect sake if i am asking you a question if you are asking me a question and i am looking down i am looking here You'll feel a little bit embarrassed, na? Like why she's not yes. giving me the respect that I really deserve, right? So just for giving them a respect, you have to see them with a very decency and a confidence face. That's it. Okay. okay. So Deepto, rest everything is good. Just okay. work on the points that I have told you. Then you can again appear for HR staff, and then you can get more confidence. Okay. 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 Thank Bye -bye. you.